Greetings, chemistry students. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of food chemistry in a calorimetry experiment. So, I've got right here a little paper clip that I have folded up into a little stand, and I've got a pecan, or pecan, depending on how you prefer to pronounce it. I'm gonna put on this little stand right underneath this ring. I then have a beaker and I have 100 milliliters of water, which is also 100 grams of water. So I'm gonna put that water into this beaker. I'm then gonna place the beaker over the pecan. Then I'm gonna add this temperature sensor so we can get a measure of the water temperature. So getting a nice good measurement here. And then what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna start recording the temperature and then I'm gonna keep an eye on the temperature and then we're going to ignite this pecan under here. Now I'm going to stir the beaker of water while the pecan burns, and we're going to see how hot this gets. In case you're wondering, it smells terrible. Also, do not try this at home. It looks like 45.8 degrees Celsius was the highest temperature that we reached. I want to go over a few calculations with you about the uh, lab demonstration that you just watched. From the data, we know that the initial temperature of the water was 22.3 degrees Celsius, and it reached a final temperature of 45.8 degrees Celsius. So just doing a little bit of subtraction, on our calculator, we can see that the change in temperature was 23.5 degrees Celsius. We also know 
that we were working with a hundred milliliters, which is because the density is one, it's a hundred grams of water. And that's what we were heating up. So we can use the formula Q equals M C delta T to figure out how much heat the water gained from burning the pecan. So Q equals, well, we had a hundred grams of water. The specific heat of the water that we heated up is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. And the change in temperature was 23.5 degrees Celsius. So if we multiply all those together, we get 9,823 joules. Or there's a simple little calculation. If you divide by 4,180, that gives us 2.35 calories. Now, if you were to actually look up how much energy is in one pecan half, you would find that it's actually somewhere around four and a half to five calories. And the reason for that is this experiment has some flaws in it because we're assuming that all of the heat from burning the pecan went directly into heating the water when some of it went into heating up the glass beaker, the metal ring that the beaker was sitting on, or just heating up the room. So not all of the heat got perfectly transferred, which is why, although this gives you an idea of what a uh, food scientist or food chemist would actually do in determining how much energy is in food, um, this particular experimental design has a lot of room for improvement.